Welcome to this tutorial on how to use Choice Eliminator to help make your forms a little bit more useful. So what we'll be using today is Google Forms and an add-on called Choice Eliminator. And what this allows you to do is take a normal form that you already have that maybe has the drop-down list or the multiple choice. And as soon as X number of people select that option, then it will disappear. So a great use for this would be for students to sign up for office hours or maybe um, project group meetings with you. So what you would do is you would make a Google form very similar to the one I have here and I have three choices and each of those choices is only allowed to be selected by two individuals. So when the first person comes in to make the choice, I'll choose Monday, and they submit the form. When the next student comes in, chooses 9 to 10, I now have two people that have chosen that time slot. It's no longer available anymore. And now when the third person comes in, they'll see that their only options are Monday at 10 to 11 and Monday 11 to 12. Okay, so let's get started. Again, I'm not going to show you how to use Google Forms all the way through, but I will be showing you a few question types just so that you can get the hang of this if you've never used it before. All right, I'm in Google Drive. And that is again at drive.google.com and I've signed in with my Cougars username and password. Under the new button, I want to go to more and choose Google Forms. And here's my blank form. All right, first thing I'll do is give my form a title and this is individual project meetings. So, when I'm doing something like this, I want to make sure that I know the student's name and everything, not just the meeting time in which they're signing up for. So let's go ahead and make the meeting question. It says, uh, please select one meeting time that best suits your schedule. Only two people time slot. All right, and I'll have my time slots be Monday 9 to 10 or 8. So I'll make that 9, I'm sorry. Monday 10 to 11 and Monday 11 to 12. Now I can go ahead and continue to add over and over again uh, multiple time slots, but I'm only going to start um, go with 3. The other thing to note is that this choice eliminator I'm getting ready to show you will work with both multiple choice, checkbox, and choose from a list options, but I'm going to leave it at multiple choice. This is a required question, so make sure to select that, and I'll say done. Now I want some more information, so I'm going to add an item that's text and call this first name. It's also required. Again, I'm going to make text, and this will be last name, required, and text again, email address, and required. Now, a text just means that they're going to free type their answer. All right, so this is all the information I really need for these meetings. I need to know what time they're coming. I need their first name, last name, and an email address in case I need to contact them. And so my form is finished. If I were to click view live form or if I were to send this link to the students in my class, at this point all 15 people in my class could sign up for the Monday 9 to 10 slot, which I don't want. I want to narrow this down so that only two people can sign up for that slot and then that slot's no longer available. This is going to be done through the Choice Eliminator add-on. Now, if you've never used add-ons before, they're available up here in your menu bar. And I'm just going to choose Get Add-ons. This is a really fun place to kind of hang out and check, uh, check out a few things because there's a ton of different add-ons that you can put into not only your Google Forms, but presentations, spreadsheets, and Word documents as well, or Google documents as well. Now, Choice Eliminator shows up right here on my main screen, but for you, if it doesn't, just come up here into the search box and type in Choice or Eliminator or both, and you should, you should get this blue box. When I mouse over it, I have the button that says Free, and I'm just going to click on that. 
Now it asks for permission and I'll say allow. And I get a little message that now says, um, in order to use this, go to the choice eliminator and click start. So that's what I'll do. I'm going to X this out and come up here under add-ons and now you'll see that I have choice eliminator as one of my options and I'll just click start. All right, so what this has done is Choice Eliminator has gone through and found all of the questions in my form that meet its requirements. Again, that's multiple choice, drop down, list, or multiple select. And this is the question. Please select one meeting time. You'll see it matches the text here. I'm going to click on the little arrow to drop this down and open it up so I can see what's inside. And I do want to eliminate the choices, so I'm going to click Eliminate Choices. You need to make sure to click Choice Options next, though, because this is where I tell the form only two people can sign up for each time slot. So again, I'm just going to put the number two in each of these and hit Save. All right, and that's basically all we need to do. So again, I went to Add-ons. I chose Start under Choice Eliminator, selected my question, Eliminate Choices, and then told all of my choice options to only allow two. So let's take a look at our form. I'll say View Live Form, just so that we can see it in its real form. And again, for those of you who have never used Google Forms, this link here is the link that you would send to your students for them to sign up. All right, so I'm going to sign up for Monday, put my name in here, and I'll hit Submit. All right, and now the next student comes in behind me and they click on their link. And they also click on Monday 9 to 10, which is fine because only one person has signed up so far. And we'll click Submit. Alrighty. And now Zach comes in and he wants to sign up. He clicks on the form and lo and behold, Monday 9 to 10 is gone. And that's because two people have signed up for it. So the form is working exactly how we thought it would work. There's nobody else now that can sign up, so Zach has to sign up for another time, and we'll click Submit. All right, let's close out these form windows here so we can go back to the original form because I want to show you what's happening. Every time it eliminates, it's actually eliminating it from the real form. So this was the back end of my form where I created it, and you'll see that, my, that the one is missing, okay? Now if I go to my View Responses, up here at the top, this is where I get to see everybody that's signed up. So after everyone is signed up, you can go through and say, oh, my two appointments today for 9 to 10 are Mindy and Vince, and if I need to cancel for some reason, there's their email addresses, and it all works super smoothly. I can even see exactly the time and day that they signed up for this, um, for this time slot. All right, so again, that's how you can use Choice Eliminator to create a little bit more interactive forms where people can sign up for things. Again, this is going to be great for having students sign up for project topics, um, meeting times, groups, just about anything you want. I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, contact your instructional technologist in TLT.